What's your name? Uh, Julian. With Julian? Yeah. Come on, get in here, Julian. What's up, man? Bum, All right, here we are at Louie's Kitchen and Bar for their Black Widow Challenge. Supposed to be a massive burger and fries. Let's head inside and check it out. Julian's gonna give a shout out to his YouTube channel. I don't know much about it, but I know it's got 3,000 subs, so it's gotta be good. Check him out, I'll link in the description below. What is it? Um, I actually just switched the name. It's Julian Vlogs with a Z. Julian Vlogs with a Z, check him out. You good to go? Yep, you're good to go. All right, 25 minutes to do this. Let's go. All right, thanks, Julian. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna start, try to eat this burger as a burger. Mm. And we're off. I'm going to try to eat this burger as neatly as possible. Nothing fancy like smashing up the french fries or doing anything I wouldn't normally do if my wife wasn't across the table from me. I don't think it's going to be too hard of a challenge. 25 minutes is a lot of time, but surprisingly, I think there's only five or six winners and a lot of losers at this location. That burger is really good. Exceptional. <clears throat> I've never been a big smash, smash burger. This is delicious. This burger is fantastic. It's got two brioche buns, four quarter pound patties, American cheese, cheddar cheese, double smoked bacon, caramelized bacon, sauce, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, pickles, and a pound of french fries. Now it's $30, but you get it free if you eat it in 25 minutes and there's no substitutions. Wow. Oh. <clears throat> this dish is deeper than it looks. There's a lot of burger left. Right now, I am lost in how to eat this burger neatly. I forgot to order extra hamburger buns so I can make additional burgers out of it. I'm just going to fold this bacon on top and pretend that's a bun and go with that. Unfortunately, doing it this way, got the cheese on my fingers, and that's when I picked up this one piece of lettuce. It was like hitchhiking on my pinky finger. You can see it there. I do not know how it's defying the laws of physics, but if you look at this thing, you think it's got to be knocked off at some point against the fries or many times it could have fallen off but i'm going to have this thing on my finger for like a minute which is crazy it just hit the table twice how did that not fall off it really is quite mesmerizing when i was editing this video i, I just couldn't believe it it has to be some type of record for one little sliver of lettuce to go ignored by the person eating for that long Finally, got that lettuce. This might be the hardest part of the challenge. And the burger is done. Now onto the fries. That was a really good burger, exceptionally good. So about four minutes in it took me for the burger. The staff told me the current record is a little over 13 minutes, but we're just gonna call it an even 13 for the sake of this video. Uh, you don't get anything for setting the record, but hey, if I'm here, I might as well set a record as long as I'm here. But I'm going to eat this neatly. The french fries, there's going to be a, a hundred different ways I could eat these french fries way quicker than I'm eating them now, smashing them up, doing all kinds of stuff. But I'm just going to eat them neatly, and I'm just trying to enjoy this food. Might be about halfway done the fries. On to the fries, which are advertised as being one pound. And we can actually figure that out because we're using a scale. You don't have to take my word for it. We started with three pounds, 2.5 ounces. And let me see if I can finish these fries, what this plate weighs. Wow. That was about six minutes and 45 seconds. I'm glad I was able to get in under the 25 minutes. And actually, it's not as big as a challenge as I thought it was going to be. It went down a lot quicker. This is too... What are that dessert here? So they get a dessert menu. I know Julian early told, earlier told me they have something special here for, for dessert. I'm gonna see if we get one of those. I'll be right back. Wait till you see this. No way. Way. On the dessert menu, they have something called the Black Widow Challenge. I think this one's actually a little heavier than my main course. 
They have 25 minutes to eat this and they get it for free. Who, who could ask for a better dessert? Let's go. Not sure. Everybody knows only the very best eaters on YouTube are able to eat dessert afterwards. I'm sorry I couldn't go for traditional dessert. I'm sure this challenge is much smaller than a thin slice of cheesecake, but we're going to make do. Now, they did give me twice the allotted time to do both of these challenges, so I have 50 minutes to finish both of them, obviously. Now, I kept a running clock, though, because my goal is to try to finish both challenges inside 25 minutes total, even using a running clock. Let's see how big that bacon is. That bacon is some of the widest bacon I've ever seen. You can see it's hard to eat this as a conventional burger. It is messy and obviously very cheesy, but at least I did not get any lettuce hanging on my fingers at any point in the second burger. So I'm gonna take that as a win. So far it's every bit as good as the first burger. I'm glad I went with this burger for dessert because this burger is one of the top burgers I've ever eaten in a challenge. It's so much better when they make thin regular burger patties than one huge burger patty because no one truly knows how to cook a huge burger patty. So I'm enjoying this. I'm going to take my time. I'm pretty comfortable. I'm going to be able to get in under 25 minutes. That's to the burger. Mm. We're getting there. Wow. I'm tasting the burger the second time. All right, that was a little bit of house cleaning here. There's no way to eat that burger and not make a mess. Just the French fries left now, and there is one pound of fries on this challenge, just like there was in the first challenge. That plate weighs two pounds, two ounces. So I'm pretty comfortable I'm gonna be able to get this in under 25 minutes. I'm just enjoying myself and taking my time. You might have noticed there's no salt on these fries. I purposely ordered it that way. Salt in a challenge sometimes really adds up, especially if there's a ton of fries. But this is a fair amount of French fries. One pound. Put the other guy's shame. Oh, not a <laughs> that was the chef referring to Josh the Goat who recently filmed this challenge. But it's truly never a contest between us or even between myself and any other YouTube eater. I'm just doing my own thing, trying to enjoy the food. There's a decent amount of fries here. I feel like I've been eating them forever. It's really not that many fries, but looking back, I probably should have eaten the fries first and then save that delicious burger for the end. People come in, people come in and do this challenge and they just do one and they barely finish. That's insane. <laughs> Dude. This style of eating is slow to eat french fries, so I want to fast forward, see if I can finish under 25. All right, 20.39. Turns out I was able to do the challenge and my dessert, which to be honest was just a bigger challenge, and still get it under 25 minutes. Check them out if you're in the area. They have a fantastic smash burger. I was never really a big fan of smash burgers, but I, I am hooked now. They are delicious. So give them a try if you're in the area. Thanks for coming to another video, and I'll see you guys again soon.